Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would do a little bit of a haul, share some things I picked up at MAC with you guys, as well as some things that I have had and don't remember hauling. But if I did, you can tell me, because I might be losing my mind. I don't remember if I hauled them or not. So I'm gonna show them with you anyway. Okay, first things first. Went to MAC because I needed to replace some basic items that I wear all the time. Um, and the first thing I got was the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I'm the shade NC15. This is just kind of my like everyday foundation. I love this foundation. Um, I wear Pond's BB Cream when I'm very casual. I wear this kind of every day. And then I also wear Smashbox Studio Skin, or not Studio Skin, um, what is it called? Skin, maybe it is Studio Skin. Studio Skin Foundation um, when I'm like dressed up. So three different foundations that kind of cover the gamut of what you might need in foundations when the you know you need coverage for your skin. So this is the one that I kind of middle of the road one. I also really do prefer the Mac Pro Longwear foundation because it lasts all day long. This one towards the afternoons I get really oily with, but the Pro Longwear in NC15 oxidizes on me so badly that I can't wear it. Literally, it's perfect for about an hour or two, and then I am so yellow compared to the rest of my body that it just looks horrible. So I can't wear that. And I was mentioning that to the lady who sold me the studio, this Studio Fix fluid. And she said that they have just recently removed the SPF from Pro Longwear, so they're reformulating it so that it does not oxidize, because apparently it does that on lots of people, not just me, which is good, right? <laughs> Anyhow, um, so I'm excited to try that once that's released. Because like I said, I love the way that wears. Um, I just, oxidation is ridiculous. So this is it for now. And next thing is a brow pencil in the shade Lingering. And I like brow pencils primarily for just getting the shape. So I'll go in with the pencil and just kind of shape this up right here and do the little tail. And the same thing on this side. And then I'll go in with my powder I use wedge or cork and I'll fill the rest of it in. So I just like it to kind of help me get the shape and then I'll use powder to do the rest. Um, but this is the first one that I bought, the one that I just ran out of. So I purchased another one in the same shade and lingering is pretty, it's a pretty like easy, I don't know, kind of neutral eyebrow color that I think anybody can wear. It's good if you're light or dark haired, just kind of, you know, right in the middle of what you need in an eyebrow pencil. So there it is right there. So here's the new one and it twists up. I didn't know how much wear I'd get out of this. It lasted me about two months, um, give or take. So I think it's you know good for that. I kept thinking, how am I gonna know when it runs out? But you know when it runs out and when it's getting near running out. So that's a good thing. Okay, next I got Max Blot Powder, which I used to use a couple years ago. And then I started using Urban Decay's D-Slick powder you know compact powder and I love the d-slick one is like my holy grail if you are oily the d-slick line from urban decay is amazing however the um, d-slick compact that I it's purple and the powder on the inside is kind of it's whitish blue it's weird goes on translucent um, awesome I mean it just it goes on your skin looks like your skin just minus the oil it's beautiful but that thing, and I've had three of them, that thing breaks like nobody's business, literally. All three of my Urban Decay D-Slick powders were gone before they were even halfway used up, if that makes any sense. I mean, it's like, I guess it's very finely pressed powder, if that makes sense. So it, one little drop and it just gets, you know, cracks and veins and then it's just over. It just, oof, it obliterates itself. So yeah, I thought, you know what, I'm, not, I'm gonna skip it because it's a little bit more expensive than this one. And I'm just going to use the blot powder for now. So this is in the shade light. They come in different colors. And I like to keep this in my bag. I only like to use this when I'm out, not um, at home. If I'm at home, I'll grab it out of my purse and use just, you know, a powder brush to touch up. And that's it. So it's just, you know, it's called light. It goes on. Like, I guess if you're darker, it would show up some. But it doesn't really, you know, it's pretty translucent on me. Um, it's not white or anything like that. So... There's that one. And then when I was there, I found two eyeshadows that I fell in love with. The first is Love Connection, which is a mineralized eyeshadow. And you can see that it's 
silver, there's kind of silver here, and then kind of gold up there. And when you mix it together, it's very bronzy gold. Um, almost rose gold without the rose gold, it's weird. So there's a swatch of that one. Very, very pretty color. And I really like it, I like it all over, but I really like it for under here, the under my lower lash line. I think it's really pretty. It makes kind of like a dazzling effect on your skin. The next thing is um, Lie Low, it's a pro longwear eyeshadow. Looks like this, and it's a very pretty brown, light brown. I have it on right in here. Hey, no fighting! I've got it on in there. Okay, yeah, so I've got it on in my crease. Really pretty, kind of a light medium brown, um, and it lasts so long. And there's that swatch right there, just really pretty. Almost kind of tan, not really taupe, it's more tan, light brown. There's that, and then the items that I think I'm going senile over, because I don't know if I did or did not haul them. I'll just share them with you really quickly. The first thing is a nail polish from the Chanel 2012 Fall Collection, and that is the Chanel Nail Polish in Mysterious, 601 Mysterious. And it's a very pretty, kind of dirty, grungy, gray color, if that makes any sense. Concrete gray, I love those colors for the fall. The dirty, kind of almost black, but not quite black. Um, grayish shades. This one, I want to say even has a tinge of green to it, but I'm not really, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me and that's what I'm seeing um, or not, but really, really pretty. It is kind of a cream formula and that's what I prefer. I don't like any shimmer or any, I don't like anything else in my polish except for a cream finish unless I add it. So I'll, you know, add glitter or shimmer in with like a separate nail polish. So that's what I prefer. Um, there's that and I'm going to use it so I don't have a top on it right now. And then the other thing is I Instagrammed a picture of my Essie nail polish collection and in my whole collection I've got a ton of nail polishes. Didn't have any red and I was like wow that's kind of crazy because red is one of my favorite colors and I really did not own a good red. So some of the comments that people left me on Instagram were you know about lollipop and how lollipop was a great shade. So I picked up lollipop and it is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's that cream formula that I love. So I'm really looking forward to these two as far as, you know, wearing them for the fall is concerned. And the last thing is Chanel's blush in Pink Explosion, which looks like this. It's just a really pretty kind of plummy pink blush for the fall. Um, and I've got it on today. I've worn it so many times. That's why I just cannot remember whether I showed it or not. Um, but I've worn it like every day since I bought it, literally, I put all my other blushes away and I've just been wearing this, um, including the new MAC ones that I've had for like less than two or three weeks, but loving that. And let's see, on my face, I've got that blush on, the Lilo in the crease, and I do have like a winged kind of cat eye right here, not too far out, it's not too thick. And on my lips, I've got Sisley lipstick in the shade L31, I believe. Here it is right here and it's L31. It's a really pretty kind of fuchsia shade. And I have all my pink lipsticks, literally all of them you can see. Well, don't look at the pin mark that my son made in there, but all my fuchsia lipsticks are in here because I am trying to decide which lipstick I'm going to wear next weekend. My husband and I have a gala, a masquerade gala to attend, and I've got a navy blue gown that I'm gonna wear. And that's kind of how I start to plan my looks is I'll, pick the dress so I know what color I'm going to wear and then I'll sit on kind of a lip color and yes that's I know it's weird most people are like oh I'm going to do my eyeshadow like this no I always pick the color of my dress and then the shade of my lipstick before I do anything else and it's navy blue so I want to do kind of a magenta lip and by magenta like a plum fuchsia if that makes any sense um, where it's a darker fuchsia than brighter I know that sounds weird. It's more plum fuchsia, magenta, than bright. Yeah. Okay, so I've been playing with them to figure out kind of which shade I want to go with, and I'll share with you. Okay, see, like, I've got Rebel, and that's too dark. It's not quite as fuchsia as I want to be, so I might even just layer something on top of that to get the look I want. And then I've got this fuchsia by Revlon, um, which is pretty, but it's too bright for the look I want. And then Candy Yum Yum, which is way too bright, but it's that fuchsia that I want on top of that dark color. And then Pink Nouveau, which is just not quite the shade I'm going for. This is kind of what I go through, yeah. 
Um, and then show orchid is kind of there, but not quite as dark. So that might work on top of rebel. Not quite sure. I'm just all over the place right now. Girl About Town, which is that kind of magenta, kind of dark plum that I want. However, mine's, yeah, most of my lipsticks are smushed because my kids are like, oh, cool, lipstick, let me put my finger in it. Shiop, which it's a NARS one, and once again, smushed because they have to stick their hands in everything. So um, this is kind of the formulation that I'm going for. I just wish it was a little darker. So this on top of Rebel, I'm thinking, would be perfect. So I'm going to try this or Show Orchid on top of Rebel and see how that works out. The other ones that I have are this one, which is Adis Ababa, I think. It's called Adis, no, it's called Chloe by NYX. I love the color. I hate the fact that it's got like a metallic-y, I don't know, frosty. I don't like frost formulas. I like cream or matte formulas. Um, so yeah, that I just can't do. You can see it's kind of got like a frost to it. I don't care for that. Um, what else do I have? Oh. Dear Diary, the Prolonger, which is just too bright. It's not as dark. I want that deep fall kind of plummy magenta fuchsia color. I said that a million times, didn't I? Yves Saint Laurent, which is once again a little too bright, not quite as blue as I want. Fuchsia Fever, which is just too bright. It's not quite the shade I'm after. And then the one I had on this morning, which is the Yves Saint Laurent in 27, which is a pretty pink, but not quite as dark. This one's darker, and I think I prefer that to this bright one for the look I'm going for. Um, so yeah, this one, I might even try it on top of the Rebel just to see if I like that better. So, well, let me see, we can do it now. Here's the Rebel. And see, it gives me that plum that I'm after, because I want that depth to the color, but I want it to be brighter, if that makes any sense. That doesn't do anything, does it? No doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a hard time with this. This is gonna be difficult. Show Orchid. That doesn't change it any either, does it? Okay. Girl About Town. Nothing changed that shade, did it? Nothing changed it. Okay, so maybe I'm back at square one and I need to just look for the lipstick I want. Although that's kind of pretty, I like that too. I don't know, I'm after this very particular shade. This might work though. Yeah, this is me being very indecisive. Um, but this is kind of the overall look. I played with my shadow this morning, so that's kind of the way I want it to look. Just some falsies that I'm gonna add and probably some highlight here. And I didn't highlight under here either, so I'm gonna do that with a stronger brow. My cheeks, I'll probably do Pink Explosion by Chanel, but I think I'm going to do a little bit of um, my MAC, either Melba or Strata underneath and just a little bit of the pink to give me a little bit of color. Um, yeah, that's kind of my overall, that's the look I'm going for. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't, maybe this won't even look good with navy blue. I'm not sure. I'm still playing back and forth. It takes me a good week when I need to dress up for something. It takes me a good week to kind of figure my lipstick out. And then once I get that down, I move on to my eyeshadow and all that stuff. So that is where I'm at right now. Um, my hair looks like this because it rained today. So as soon as I went outside, it kind of frizzed up. You guys know my hair's kind of um, curly. When I straighten it, it doesn't retain it very well if I don't put any product in it, and I didn't think it would rain today. So anyhow, that's what I'm kind of going for. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.